here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. If you're trying to get out and maybe do a little exercise and take a walk this afternoon, weather is definitely cooperating for it. Uh, let's take a look at the conditions outside from our city cam. And we've got dry conditions in Providence. It's 43, which is seasonable for this time of year. Feels around 38 northeast winds at 8 miles per hour. Middle 40s, New Bedford, Taunton, Boston 41, Smithfield 40, lower 40s in westerly Richmond. Also at about 40 degrees. So another dry day leading our three key things. May I sprinkle around tomorrow afternoon. Light shower, not a huge deal for us, uh, but there is one more storm system left to go this calendar year. That one for late Sunday and through Monday. In fact, it may even linger into the early part of New Year's Eve day as well. And we'll show you all of that coming up here outside on our live Doppler radar. It's dry. We are watching uh, the storm system that's going to be affecting us at the end of the weekend. It's out over the West Coast right now. It's been bringing severe weather, snow, uh, heavy rain to parts of Southern California. Well, for us, again, late Sunday into Monday is the timing of it. So the rest of the day today, just mostly cloudy, cool and dry. Lower 40s for tonight. We're going to see those temperatures dropping into the low 30s under mainly cloudy skies. I don't expect any precipitation during the night. But we are watching a couple of fronts that will come through. First up today is this warm front, and then as this cold front approaches tomorrow, may delay a couple of lighter showers into the area where we have a chance for some light icing. A winter weather advisory has been issued. Notice that's the northwest corner of Massachusetts and then up into much of Vermont and uh, upstate New York. Here's what we're expecting for the rest of this afternoon. Just a lot of cloud cover around throughout the evening and overnight hours tonight. Then tomorrow morning waking up to mainly cloudy skies. Here comes the front and again notice most of the showers are well up to the north of us at noon and as that front gets closer quick sprinkle or light shower in the afternoon hours across southern New England before that front clears out and we'll be back under dry conditions for Friday night and Saturday. So we're jumping ahead. This is Sunday morning we're talking about that more significant one. The one I was track showing you in California. Well, this is where we expect it to be on Sunday morning as it approaches the area. It runs into some colder air from high pressure to the north of us. So initially here in southern New England, we're looking at rain, but across central and northern New England, it's turning a little colder, a little snowier. This is 7 a.m. on uh, Monday morning. So we've got to watch the track of this system and the temperature profile for it. We're still thinking mainly rain here locally through the day on Monday, but as it pulls away, we may see those rain showers transition over to snow showers on Tuesday. So in the seven day forecast, 42 for today will be up near 50 for your high tomorrow, mid 40s Saturday, Sunday as well. And then on Monday, looking at rain locally for Tuesday, turning cooler lower 40s with that leftover rain or snow shower coming to an end. It looks like by the time I'm trying to ring in the new year dry with slow clearing in that first day of 2020. Looking pretty good right now. Sunshine and low 40s for next Wednesday. 